right, so I've been hyping this thing for like, I don't know, the last three, four videos. We're finally at the flooring. <laughs> so I, I could probably split the flooring into three parts. There's the prepping of the floor. So for me, that was removing the carpet, removing the old carpet underlayment and cleaning up all the dirt, removing tack strips. Um, so that's step one. Um, step two would be installing the underlayment, which um, depending on the plank you have, it, that would be an optional step. And that's what we're doing right now. And it's not too bad. It's just rolling it, rolling it out and then taping it together with some uh, underlayment tape. And um, the reason why I went with a additional underlayment along with the underlayment that's already attached to the plank was just for um, for the Q6. So, so making sure that, you know, the flooring is nice and quiet when, when people walk on it. Um, it's not too bad um, upstairs. Actually, I never got to try it without the underlayment or the without the additional underlayment. So I don't know how it would sound like if I didn't install the second underlayment. Um, but I think overall, I'm pretty happy with the, uh, the double underlayment. Um, uh, I know Home Depot, so this, this, uh, <laughs> these vinyl planks are from Home Depot and, um, life proof. They don't, they don't warranty the, the flooring or the, the vinyl planks if you install an additional, uh, underlayment. So, um, just keep that in mind. I think. I think I was a little bit overkill with having two underlayments, but uh, anything to dampen the sound and to make the house more pleasant, I was like, I was all in for it. Um, so here we're not installing anything yet. We're just putting down the underlayment in the master and you see the opening on the left side. Um, I didn't put the underlayment down there, there yet because that place was like really squeaky and creaky. <laughs> so I drove like... I don't know, it probably felt like 10 screws down into the plywood there. And uh, just make sure that I get all the creaking out. Because once I get the underlayment and, and the vinyl planks down, there's no way I'm going to have... Um, there's no way I'm going to be able to access that. Now, it was really nice for Alan to come over. I, honestly, I was kind of procrastinating on, on the flooring. But because Alan was coming over, I was like, well, I have to do it. Because he's only going to be here for like a day or two. <laughs> so... Um, he was a big motivator of getting me to start, um, to start this. Um, here we're starting in the master, the, the master bedroom, at the top left corner. And I anchored the upstairs. Everything's anchored to like the hallway. So I, uh, when I was measuring like how many planks I needed or where I would start, in the master um actually did everything off of the the hallway um because i was looking at some youtube videos and you want your hallway to be the anchor because that's that's the area you're gonna be walking through all the time uh so i was like oh that's a good uh, that's a good point also it's most likely going to be the part of the flooring with the longest uh like line of sight so that's another thing to keep in mind um, here I spent like all of my time in like the bathroom area and um, by the time I was done like Alan and Kevin were already like outside the master <laughs> bedroom I was like oh wow you guys got a lot done so if you don't have to hit any corners or if you don't have to hit any walls it's actually like a pretty fast pretty fast install the moment you hit like a corner or a wall or any of that you got to cut it you gotta cut the size, and if you mess up, you gotta get another piece. And each each plank is ten dollars. <laughs> so I I joked with Chris like every time I made a mistake, that was ten dollars down the drain, and uh, it's not not fun because uh, those mistakes can add up pretty fast. Oh, check out the result of this so far in the master. Really happy with it. Thank you, Alan and Kevin, for the help. It's looking great. Probably have like, I don't know, maybe a quarter of the house done. 
I pretty much did all of the uh, bathroom down here, which took me a lot longer than I thought. And um, by the time I was done over here, Kevin and Alan were pretty much done with like this half of the room. So a couple things that we still need to do. Still need to do the closet. And uh, once we finish the closet, bring it over here into the hallway and uh, finish this off and uh, get it started in the rooms and have it flow into the bathroom over here as well. But uh, yeah, it's looking great. I'm loving the results. House is finally coming together. So also on YouTube, I looked up on how to cut for, for corners and how to cut pieces without actually measuring anything. And that's to use what, what they call the cheater board. Um, but it's essentially like an offset board and you, I don't know, it's, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, it's probably easier if I show you, but essentially it's, it's, uh, it's using like a reference board and using that reference board and making marks on the board that you're going to cut so that like everything is perfect. Now the issue that I had here is that, um, at the very end of the hallway, um, you see that room on the on the top left. I'm not starting in that room yet, but uh, I I figured, oh, okay. So how many how many planks is it gonna take for me to go from the hallway to the to the right side of this room? So I think it was like 13 planks, and I tried to measure it exactly so that by the time I reached. Uh, the end like everything would be perfect because um in that room if i were to install the boards from the hallway to the end of that room then it would it would mean that i would have to like install them in reverse so when you're installing the planks you want the male side to go into the female side um but because uh i, w I was starting from the hallway i had to have the female side go into the male side and i didn't want to do that so if i wanted to go male on the female i had to start from the uh the far wall and um the reason why i'm taking out all the planks here is because um i didn't like the the finish um around the bathroom it, it just left too big of a gap so i decided to just redo it again and um I got an osling saw so that I could cut like under the uh, door jams and whatnot. So I can actually slide the boards under and have the finish be a lot more clean. And so that's the reason why I had to like uninstall pretty much the whole hallway and a lot of the mashers to get, um, is to redo that part, which is a real pain <laughs> to uninstall the planks. Um, that was not fun. <laughs> Um, but anyways here, yeah, so here I'm starting on the, the far wall because I wanted to do like the usual way you're supposed to install is right? Is to have the male go into the female. But what I should have done from the very beginning is to start from like the hallway side and just go from installing, well, okay, hold on what I'm trying to say here. Go, go, go from installing the, uh, the, the flooring so that the female side goes into the male side. Sorry, it's late. I'm trying to, it's kind of hard to, it's, uh, trying to hard to put into words on what I'm, what I'm doing here. Um, so I install these planks, you know, everything is going great here. And later on, I realize and um, I don't know if it's if it's coming up soon, but um, here I realized that oh crap, I'm about I don't know I want to say like an eighth of an inch off from the hallway, so I'm finishing up this row right, and that's all great. But then I try to install this row like oh shoot, I'm like off, <laughs> I'm like off by like an eighth of an inch, so I was like oh crap, what do I do? So 
There's only two things I could do. I could either move all the pieces from the hallway up into the room, which I don't want to. I didn't want to do because then I would have to uninstall all the planks in the hallway again and uninstall all the planks in the master room, uh, master bedroom. I didn't want to do that. So the second option was to move all the planks that I just installed in this room and essentially like redo them and have the female side go into the male side. So that's what we're doing here. We're taking every single row and we're having the female side go into the male side so that I could shift all the planks to the left because I miss, I uh, mismeasured. <laughs> and so we got, we got all the planks over um, shifted over to the left, and that meant that meant I had to do, do do that last row on the right again, which is not a big deal. And uh, yeah, that let me do the uh, the rest of the room going into the closet. I wish I would have went um, below that trim, that piece I'm installing right now, right there. I wish I went under the uh, the closet. Uh, I don't know what you want to call it like trim I wish I went under more because right now that area is a little bit exposed you can see a little bit of the underlayment and the baseboard is um I think I have I would have to get like a quarter round baseboard to like cover it up like the smaller piece um not the bigger like normal baseboard that I have um yeah so here you can see me using the oscillating saw and uh cutting all the pieces um the door trims under and uh i'm not sure if this is the right order um maybe this video should have been earlier i don't know maybe i did this part <laughs> later i guess <laughs> um so yeah i figured out how to do the door trims and that lets me slide the the plank under and uh just lets you have a nicer finish. So it's a nice little trick. And it was really easy to do with the Ossling saw that I got. It's a cobalt one. Almost done. So the mash is all done. Got the closet finished. This hallway down here is finished. Although this part is gonna be hard because I don't know if I want to cut like right here, right at the edge, or if I want to have a piece of um, plank like wrap around the, uh, the step. So I gotta figure that out <laughs> at some point. I got the bathroom to do and um, this room is pretty much done get all the planks that uh, that are all scrap pantry and uh, this is the last room that needs to be done I was so close to getting um, this part in the hallway done but I don't know if you guys could see it, but this little gap right here, um, I wanted to hammer it in, but I can't because it is uh, too late and I don't want to make too much noise. So, uh, yeah, getting close to being done upstairs. We're going to do the room, or we're going to finish that room probably maybe tomorrow and Saturday. I finally got this piece right here next to this room in. So the issue yesterday that I noted was that there's this uh, gap right here. And I was trying to hammer it from, from that side, but it wasn't going in because uh, this cut right here was butting against the, the frame, I think. 
And so, didn't matter how hard I was hammering from that side, it wasn't gonna close that one millimeter gap. So I had to make a bunch of extra cuts and I messed up once and uh, had to do it a second time. So, second time was a lot better. Um, the first time, um, it was good, except that I cut this a little bit too wide and there was like a little, little um, like gap right here. And so I knew that was gonna bother me later down, later down the road. So I was like, all right, let's just get it fixed now. But um, yeah, this piece is in. Gonna continue the rest of uh, Chris's room. All right, so this part was really annoying. Um, so for 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 this room, it wasn't as bad because we're just installing it normally, having the male side go into the female side. Um, but just getting that one transition piece that goes in between the room and in between the hallway was a real pain. So I tried to do it in one piece and that's the reason why I'm going back and forth is like measuring it, cutting it, measuring it, cutting it, just trying to make it work. Um, but I couldn't get it to connect because usually when you're installing the boards, you tilt it up so that it can go in. But because of the, because of the door trims, you can't do that. Um, so what I, I decided to do instead is instead of doing one, trying to do one piece um, as a trans, like as a transition piece, I decided to do like two pieces instead. So like a smaller piece would be on the left side of the door. A normal size right piece would uh, be on the right side of the door. Um, also, there's like a little nook in this room on the like top right side and um, you can't really see it here, but there's a, there's a small gap and at the time I didn't know if the baseboard would cover the gap. I didn't know if the baseboard would be thick enough. And uh, when I was installing the baseboards, there was a there's a little bit of a gap on on the top and so i had to add a little bit of a of a plank on on the top uh right side there and so that was a little bit annoying i was like oh i was off by a little bit but um not too bad you just got to be careful when you're cutting that really small piece and uh yeah this uh Finishing installing this part, that's gonna conclude um, this part of the episode. the The next one, I'm I'm thinking that it's gonna be the either the bathroom or the flooring downstairs. And um, the flooring downstairs might be a little bit easier because there's not as many hallways, but I think there were probably more corners. But I think at that point I was like. I wouldn't say an expert at it, but uh, I had a lot of experience with all the corners and cutting and everything. And everything so I felt pretty comfortable um, jumping in the uh, downstairs portion. So uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the, the flooring uh, part one. <laughs>